Hello and welcome back. And today I want to address a question that you guys asked both on this channel and the other YouTube channel. You asked, what the hell are camera licenses and are they just a big con? So let's get started. Okay, so for a number of you out there buy a network attached storage device or NAS as a means of attaching lots of cameras in your home or office. Now this network known as a surveillance IP camera network can be a little bit, you know, finickety when you set it up, but a lot of the time, the most important part of the equation isn't even the cameras, it's the NAS in the middle. Now, when you are setting up your perfect surveillance network, you may notice that a number of NAS providers, and today we're gonna to focus predominantly on QNAP and Synology, um, these, NAS camera, uh, these NAS surveillance vendors, what they do is they produce a great piece of surveillance software. It gives you a whole live control deck where you can monitor loads of cameras, motion tracking, night vision, and SMS and email alerts, and recording all of this footage all the time from these cameras to the NAS. And all of this is done wirelessly thanks to YP cameras. However, what you may notice is a number of the NAS brands out there, and again, Synology and QNAP are the ones we're focusing on today, will ask you to, if you want to have lots of cameras, buy these licenses, these two things that are on screen now. And a number of you out there are wondering, hold up, what, what is this? This is just a big con. Why, why, am I, why do I have to buy all these extra camera licenses? Why are you making me pay for these extra cameras? Now, on the, on the face of it, I can see why you think that. And I used to think it as well. When I first got into NAS a number of years ago, I actually had four cameras dotted around my home. And one of the things that made me buy my first NAS, which was the little Synology unit, a 214, um, when I bought this Synology NAS with the surveillance software, I thought, great, I can you know use it for all of my media, set up all my backups, run a little CMS there for all the stuff I was doing on the side, and have these four cameras. And I bought four cameras originally, a few Edimax ones, some of the early Edimax IP cameras. But when I started attaching the cameras, I noticed that it let me see two cameras, but no more than that. And if I wanted to add more cameras, I had to buy these licenses. Now these licenses go for about 30 quid each. You have to pay 30 pounds to add another camera. And I was like, whoa, what? I've already bought your NAS, I've already paid for the ability to use these features and functionality, why do I need to buy licenses? And I kind of looked into it, and I made a video a few years ago on this, and it seems to be a subject I'm constantly touching on, because it's not actually that much of a con. Once you break down the numbers, it's really not. Now, the surveillance software that you get from these NAS brands, now both Synology and QNAP produce Surveillance Station, their own respective software, and on top of that, QNAP have another bit of software called QVR Pro, a much more enterprise level surveillance software, all of them provide um, a multi-camera feed, live action views, SMS, and email alerts. They all support a whole host of different cameras and they are constantly updated. The compatibility list for these cameras go into the thousands. They cover Hikvision, RioLink, Edimax, to name but a few with so many NAS, uh, um, IP camera brands out there. Now, when you, a lot of you out there, if you are looking in the field of surveillance and IP cameras, if you're a home user, you're probably looking in terms of, you just want to make sure no one's going to break into your gaff while you're not there. But if you're a business, a lot of the time your insurance depends upon it, and lots of legal requirements are stipulated on behalf of your employees, your company, maybe you've got a shop, and you have to have CCTV surveillance dotted around your business in order for you to be covered or to be able to claim damages or claim rep reparation for lost income. Now, that is a lot of responsibility to put on the shoulders of a NAS brand that are producing a unit for about 300 nicker. That's not a lot of money for a business that might have a turnover of 50 to 100,000 pounds a year. So what happened was QNAP and Synology and other NAS brands as well found a middle ground. What they do is they give you that software for free with the NAS. They could have charged it as a separate license. They could have said, here's your NAS. And if you want to use it as surveillance, here's our surveillance software. They give you that software for free. On top of that, depending on the NAS device you choose, they give you a bunch of free camera support. So in the case of most Synologies, you can add at least two cameras completely for free. In the case of QNAP, most modern QNAPs let you attach four cameras completely for free, because they expect that home users will not be using these cameras as a means to um, supplement insurance policies, as a means to back up security and therefore lower premiums and losses and stuff outside. They will just see it as someone that wants to have a baby monitor, someone that wants just a camera knocking at the front or on the rear door just to see who's there and when they're at work, just to know if someone's breaking in so they can call the police. Nice and simple stuff, touch what it never happens to you. 
But businesses have a, a much bigger vested interest in these setups and they won't use two or four cameras. They're going to use eight, 10, 15, 20. And for that kind of support, I think it's right they should pay because it's one thing for them to save hundreds if not thousands of pounds a year by having these cameras and then complaining that the application doesn't meet their needs. So I, I think it's fair in this sense that QNAP and Synology have reached this um, middle ground whereby the home users get two to four cameras included completely for free in terms of support but the business users are the ones that, you know, to keep this software as enterprise as possible for all, should be expected to pay for those additional cameras. It's only fair because, again, if a NAS at two or three hundred nicker, the amount of coverage and protection a business is going to get, it's going to be that to the power uh, times 10 or even 20, that sum. So that's the reason the camera license is existing. Whether you agree with me or not, I don't know, but this is taking years for me to research this over and over again with more surveillance videos and time and time again, I can see more and more businesses buying a NAS just for the surveillance. And if they are going to do that, it's only right that they pay for that privilege. And if they pay, they pay properly, not just for the hardware, but for the software too. And that way, the software is there for all of us. Otherwise, they're going to have to start charging people more and more, which isn't fair at all for you home users. But if you agree or disagree, do let me know in the comments. But otherwise, don't forget to click subscribe or like if you enjoyed this. And don't forget to visit me via the article below that take you through to nascompares.com on the subject of licenses. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.